Before we begin, sorry Punk Wix videos for forgetting your name during the shout out in the last video. I don't know how I did that, but I guess I really wanted to say Minishiwagawa's boobas that badly. And since we're here, shout out to my newest patrons, Majin Kai, and I want victims. Which, if you ever really want to be evil, next time it's right at close and someone orders a ridiculous drink, decaf it. Yeah, evil Mirka, that's so evil. You're so evil. Evil. Night two of the five star Grand Prix is upon us. And oh, hi, Unimon! Saki Kashima and Shuri are teaming up because that's the best tag team in stardom right now. And we also got. Oh! Oh, we got Megasis! Oh, not the Megasis! The Megasis! The gargantuan Amazonian Megan kills the tiny gorilla girl in a battle of Wonder Woman versus Tiny Eater Kong. That is as lopsided and mismatched as a Megan with the name Megasis doing a goddamn F5 to begin with! Not the Megasis! The Megasis! We have three matches in the blue block! You got Mina Shirakawa! Wanting to draw Mariah like one of her French girls in the main event, and you got her resident white woman, Mariah May, taking on the stoic killer who's quickly becoming Meerkat's top wrestler in stardom, Sorry, Ano. And in the opening round, a rematch from last year's five star, Hanan, with a downgrade in entrance music, oh yes, versus last year's winner and the person who beat her, Julia. But oh, Julia wearing the exact same outfit as last time, I'm disappointed. That's a fashion fallacy. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. The thing about tournaments is that not every show will be high production with commentary. This is one of those shows. Don't mean Hanan not gonna just bring it and get her ass punished by Julia for it. Oh, Hanan, she got this badass judo skill, but I never feel she's a badass or a threat. She just... Hanan Hananin. She does a lot of things well, though. The fire is there. The willingness to mire herself on her skull. The improvement is clear. You can see it. Julia can certainly feel it. Relying on counters to gain advantage far more back and forth than she may have expected. But Julia honestly feels like she has a move for any scenario, and that is so cool for a wrestler. But Hanan with the lion spirit forcing Julia into the defensive, locking on the spider's web. The move she submitted Hanan to last year, but she knows this. Julia up top for no good reason, and Hanan didn't take advantage like the other wrestlers would, and dies for it. Julia up for the glorious driver, but no. Hanan reverses with her 17 counter pin. Julia kicks out, kills Hanan with her knee, but Hanan kicks out. Julia has to use a big finisher on Hanan and lands the glorious driver for the victory. Here's the thing I love about Japanese wrestling and stardom in particular. The top wrestlers have different tiers of finishers to beat people with. In a tournament setting, seeing which move is the one to do it means something. Last year, it was a secondary submission. This year, it was her main finisher. This was a coming of age story, people. Maybe next Johanan. Julia, too busy holding this random title and being like, Mayu defending against Utami? I'll defend against Momokogo and then you. <laughs> Next is the fighting princess Mariah May versus Sori Ano. Oh, In what was my match of the night, Mariah May worked her tail off, but Sori Ano oh, is just on a different level, and she literally does nothing. It's effortless. Sori Ano oh, will just walk, and the wind moves because it'd be like, oh no, we dare not touch you. I agree. Sorry, Ano is that woman. She is her. Mariah May has a gigantic test and she knows it by offering her respect. But don't do it, sorry. Mariah May is British and they have a history of doing this exact same. Oh no! Not colonization! And right to the apron for the power bomb show. I believe she calls it that. And it kills her. Jesus. What a way to open the match, Mariah. Inside, she pins sorry and looks so freaking annoyed that it didn't end right there. It's so white woman. Oh. <laughs> so sorry, just punishes Mariah's knee with the best bridges in wrestling. Just effortless, looking like a work of art with the figure eight. Her style is simultaneously beautiful, gorgeous, and intense, and quite bluntly hot. 
thought you could star in an action movie and sell. Tell me I'm wrong. Sorry, I don't mean to love bomb and objectify this wonderful talent who is truly a phenomenal wrestler dissecting Mariah May like she's a doll. Anyway, Mariah no pushover. If anyone in this tournament has an opportunity to really showcase, benefit, and elevate their brand, it's Mariah May. You can't be doing them diva moves, Mariah. Oh my gosh, what a diva. What a diva show is just ripping that knee off of. Such a diva. Mariah, with the move though, but sorry, with the same moves, girl. Oh, now in the middle for the, oh yes, they gotta fight each other. And sure, just wants it, needs it, feels from it. Hit her, Mariah, fight her. She wants to fight, and now they're fighting. Nope, sorry, tired of it. But Mariah Tanahashi's her down and locks her in this awesome submission. And then this awesome angel's wings with Arnold like. <laughs> <laughs> Arnold tries for the pottery, but can't lock it on the bigger Mariah. So she changed her mind and locks on this awesome ass submission on the tall Mariah. She got nowhere to go and just taps. Holy shit, what an awesome submission from the insanely talented Shari Arno. She's a work of art, folks. She's so mysterious. Look at her flirting. She wants the goddess belts, Mariah. Better watch out. And Mariah acts confident, but watch as she she grips her title tightly, knowing she could be the reason her and Mina Shirakawa could potentially lose the belts. The belts Mina wanted so dearly. Can you imagine? She loses her dream because of me. Oh my gosh. Speaking of Mina, Bro, Mina Shirakawa. Last year, Mina lost to Mirai. This year, she went to Mirai and be like, I want to draw you. Mina is a weirdo, likes to draw her opponents because she's a regular artist, yo. Look at this beautiful render of Mirai. Draw me like one of your French girls. Mirai, with her Mega Man F0 music that my best friend rated in the top five of the current themes, and now I can't help but jam to it, honestly. And look for the exact moment Saki Kashima gives Mirai a 20% buff. There. And now, Mina Shirakawa! Introduces herself. Cause she be like, nah, I speak English, I speak English, yo, yo, try to do my introduction, you stupid bitch. Where the fuck is Koza Kai? Go away, I need Koza Kai. Oh, she's right here on her YouTube right now, being super cute, super cute. I'm the leader of Club Venus, I'm Mina Shirakawa. No one introduced me, only I introduced me. I am Mina Shirakawa. Thank you, Mina. So they walk right up to each other and just go. You wanna fight? And he's just start fighting. But Mirai, the stronger, overpowers her and starts to damage the arm. Last year, Mina's new figure four finish surprised the field and her new strats to weaken opponents from maximum damage output led to her evolving her wrestling game completely. But she also has the neck she can go after with her new super finisher, the figure four driver. So that's the story. Arm versus neck and Mirai taking some serious bumps outside. Not once, but twice. Jeez. Constant damage to a body part for max efficiency is the classic story of any wrestling match, and the types of moves she hits is all on the neck. Mirai has to force a fight-off scenario to stop her offense, which Mina, the fighter, gladly takes with a hard-ass slap. Ow. Mirai slowly walks up, and my nerves rise up, because you know the receipt gonna hurt, and oh, And then... Fuck! Mirai's turn now. Nope. Mina, the brawler, the striker, the fighter, the martial artist, the warrior, the goddamn Venus, the master strategic mind of this woman. Yeah, I'm not even joking. She has a plan and is executing it perfectly. One move after the other, forcing a desperate Mirai to try to submit Mina, but she did far less damage to it than she would have wanted, and Mina escapes. But Mirai has a perfect lariat, but glamorous pen. Nope. Mirai shuts her down, has to hit her big moves quickly to take down Shirakawa, going spinny, 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 but Shirakawa with her destino. Back to the neck she goes, never once has Mina changed her strategy, despite Mirai's wrestling technique with this awesome suplex counter, the neck damage was too strong to bridge, that's the brilliance to Mina Shirakawa's game lately, with the mighty Mirai weekend, Shirakawa continues to punish and will continue to punish until she lands her cross-legged glamorous driver she now calls a figure four driver for the well-earned victory. Straight up 
well-planned and thought-out match. I changed my mind right in this match. This is just as good as the previous one. A well worth watch for anyone who wants to see Shirakawa pull off really good wrestling psychology. Everything she did led to that victory. With this, Mirai has lost twice in a row and has a lot to prove now as the wonder of stardom champion. And Mina pinned the white belt champion. Even if she loses the five stars, she will get a rematch so long as she strolls out after a big Mirai defense and goes like, yo, I want the title, bitch. Because Mina Shirakawa has had much adversity in her career, mostly because she looks like Mina Shirakawa, but she is a good wrestler, a very good one. She knows what she's doing in the ring and does it beautifully. Mina even delivers a classic self-help speech for anyone needing a tiny bit of self-help advice. I love this woman. She's phenomenal. Mina Shirakawa will be on top again. Rest assured, she's just too good not to. Until next time, thank you.